Uh, Atika, I want to put the picture uh, back up of the two suspects that police uh, say, uh, according to their latest bulletin, are still at large. Right. Is much known about them at this point? I mean, I know there are conflicting reports out there about whether or not they had uh, some sort of uh, uh, training uh, or, or experience fighting in Syria. There have been a number of, of kind of conflicting reports about them. What do we know for sure at this point? What we know for sure is that Sharif Kouachi, in particular, does have uh, a long record of run-ins with the law. He's been imprisoned already in 2008, particularly for recruiting Islamists to go to Iraq, for example. Um, so this is somebody who had a long rap sheet, but we don't know whether or not he had traveled overseas, what kind of uh, experience he may have had um, with weapons. Uh, but it does appear that he was running in this sort of... Um, uh, extremist circles. Now, we know less about his brother, Saeed Kawashi, um, but we do know that uh, Sharif Kawashi did spend time in prison, and this is a big issue here in France because the prisons are really where a lot of this radicalization has occurred. A number of the attacks have been carried out by suspects who spent time in the prison system exposed to some of this, the most extreme forms of this, of this Islamist, um, you know, extremism. So, uh, this is what we know at this point, but we are still waiting for confirmation from French authorities for more background on both of them, uh, specifically whether or not they traveled to Syria or Iraq recently. And that uh, uh, that he was put on trial, I think it was 2008, uh, for trying to uh, encourage others to, to go overseas to Iraq and to try to go himself. Uh, he, he, I think he was sentenced to 18 months, but he had already uh, served time uh, while awaiting trial, so he didn't actually do any extra prison time, as, as, I, as I've read. Well, this is somebody who is sort of in and out of the prison system. I mean, in 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 the court, in the trial, he actually described himself as a bit of a delinquent, um, as somebody who is always having run-ins with the law, but um, found uh, this sort of extreme version of Islam that he followed uh, and was further exposed to within the prison system. So this is something that French authorities are now looking to if he was radicalized this way and if he did travel. This is one of the key components because it does appear that there was more planning, organization, the fact that they did have heavy weapons. It looks like AK-47s in the video and had flak jackets. The questions are now, where did they get those materials, those weapons, and did they get training? If so, where did they get that training? Yeah, I take a Schubert. Appreciate that. We'll continue to check in with you again. This manhunt, according to police, still underway at this hour.